Hi Darren, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of your ground strokes. They look pretty good overall. They're just a few suggestions I have. So the first few ground strokes will be in normal motion and the next uh, couple of ground strokes will be in slow motion. So we'll take a look at your first four in normal speed. Okay, awesome. So. We'll go ahead and take a look in slow-mo. So now let's see your racket preparation for the ball. All right, so you're shuffling, which is good. Let's see if do you split step. Okay, uh, not that time. All right, but I like how you're taking small steps to prepare. And let's look at your racket take back. All right, your racket take back is above your head, which is good. All right, what I think you could uh, improve a little bit more on is bend your back leg and put a little more weight on it so that you can get more power when you transfer your weight forward. Okay, so let's take a look at your swing. So you transfer a little bit of your weight forward, which is good. Now, is your racket head below your wrist? All right, I think you could drop your racket a little bit lower, and you can get a little more topspin on the ball when you swing at it. All right, but it's not, not bad. All right, so now let's look at your contact point. All right. So it's pretty good, okay? It's out in front, which is nice. Um, I think it's like 90% extended, but I think you could extend your arm just a little bit more, and you'll get a little bit more power on your forehand. All right, so going forward, your follow through, all right, it's not bad. Now let's look at your backhand side. All right, so you shuffling. Let's see if you split step. Okay, um, kind of, but not too much. You want to make sure it's very clear when you split step and defined. Alright, but let's see your racket take back on your backhand. Alright, so one suggestion I could make, if you look at your racket take back, take back on your backhand, your take back is a little bit linear, so you take it straight back. If you notice on your forehand, on your forehand, your take back, your racket goes above your head. So try to do it the same on your backhand, so it's kind of like a mirror image. Alright, so you want the racket to be kind of pointed up like this by your head instead of pointing back like that. Okay, so that's just a suggestion. All right, now let's go ahead and see if your racket head drops below the level of your wrist. Okay, all right, I think you could just drop it a little bit more and like I said again, it'll just help you generate a little bit more topspin and a little more power. All right, but your swing itself looks good. You contact in front and you follow through over your shoulder very nicely. All right, so let's look at another forehand and another backhand. So you're shuffling. Okay, you need to make sure you split step. All right. Your racket take back here, very nice. Okay, your knees are bent a little bit. I think you could bend them just a little bit more, but it's not bad. All right, your racket heads. I'm gonna drop it there. All right, this one's a lot better. Do you see how the level of your racket heads below your wrist? So that take back's much nicer, all right? And you transfer your weight very nicely. And your contact point is much better than this one. So it's way in front, you're transferring your weight. Um, I'm not sure if you're looking at the ball, but <clears throat> most mostly it looks good, all right? And your follow through is nice and high, very nice. All right, so you're shuffling back. Okay, make sure you split step in the future. All right, now on your backhand, how much weight do you transfer? Okay, so I'll rewind this a little bit. When you transfer your weight on this particular backhand, your body weight was going up instead of going forward. So if you look in slow motion, uh, make sure you go forward instead of popping up. All right, but yeah, there's not too much. There's little fine details. So all in all, your ground strokes are good. Um, I suggest just putting more weight on your back leg and transferring a little more weight so you can get more power and also don't forget a split step in between the shots but other than that they look very nice good job